Hello everyone, my name is Vincent. Today we would like to share a video presentation for the Seagraph poster session. So to begin with, allow me to give you some context. What is the plasmonic structural coloration? And it is a structural colors, but this structural color they erase from the resonant interaction between the visible light and the metallic nanostructures. As a result, part of the light is scattered and part of the light is absorbed. The colors produced from the nanostructure is highly dependent on the configurations as well as the material that we use for the nanostructure. So we're going to discuss more in the next few slides. So in the past, we found there is a few successful examples. One of these is the blue colors of the morpho butterfly wings. So this works, they use the FTVV simulation and the ray tracing rendering to render the structural colors of the butterfly wings. And also this one, and this is a beautiful image of the color irradiation from uh, soap bubbles and that we found from the, uh, from the past. And they also have some other like, effects that use the computer graphics like the thin films as well as the scratches for the surface uh, morphology. If you want to study more, you can just go down to the reference section that we put in. I will go here, we want to visualize the plasmonic color from the nanostructure and so because of that so we choose the aluminum hole and this array as our uh, structure of interest with the configuration of 200 nanometers for the periodicity and the diameter for the disc and hole array is equal to 80 nanometer because we know the colors produced is highly dependent on the configuration of the nanostructure so that's why we try to uh, change the, the separation distance between the disc and hole array from 30 to 80 nanometers. Step number one, so we need the BSDF file that generate from the FTTV simulations. So once we have the BSDF file, we can use that to create the MDL. And then, so we can use the MDL file to render the colors appearance on the 3D object. This is what, just a schematic diagram for the nano hole and this array and that we use for the FTTV simulations. So for this FTTV simulation, we would run multiple simulation from 0 to 85 degrees because we want to capture the scatter the scattering effects from different angle and then we can produce the BSDF file that can use for the ray tracing rendering. So this is just a just a video about uh, the FTV simulation where the light strike on the nanostructure. So we can see part of the light is reflected and part of the light is transmitted and the resonance. So we can see the ripple that go around the, the nano disk array and also the, the whole array. Once we have the FTDD simulation result, so the next step is to perform the near field to far field transformations just to get the BSDF file of the nano material. And we convert this BSDF file into a binary material database. For this case, we use .mbsdf. So then after that, we use a Substance Designer to create the MDL file with the BSDF that we have. And so we took advantage of the Substance Designer that allow us to preview the colors. And then so we create the, the material file and then we apply it to 3D object with the render array for this case. And so this is the first glimpse of the result that you've seen here. So this is a toy car, that, the body of the toy car that coded with the plasmonic color and so it shows the, the angular dependency on which angle they're going to see and the color change on the angle uh, these are the render image for the whole this array with the height 30 degree 30 nanometers to 80 nanometers and this showcase the the change on the configuration they're going to change the color appearance so lastly we create a little bit surprise for you guys so we create a virtual experience for you to explore. Feel free to pause the video and use the phone to scan the QR code or just type the URL into your browser. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. So lastly, we would like to say thank you to Jane for helping us to figure out the, the conversion process. And thank you everyone. If you have any questions, just put it down in, uh, just write it down in the comment section or any place in the C graph. So we're gonna have we're gonna try to answer the question as much as we can. Thank you and thanks for watching.